Vaporizers. I'm your boy Early. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Firefly 2 Plus. As you can see, I have every iteration in front of me right now. I have the OG Firefly, which is my first review. I want to send a shout out to everybody that's been following me since that day. This was my favorite vaporizer ever. That put me up on the world of convection before I even knew what the hell conduction was or even a hybrid for that matter. So I fell in love with 100% convection. So when I started reviewing other re um, vaporizers that had conduction where you set the temp, and that whole time, 20, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, a minute, that whole time is heating up, your herb is being cooked. Your herb is being vaped without you. 100% on-demand convection will never do that to you. You could press the button, turn on the heater, and it still won't create vapor. You have to inhale. You breathing in, you're bringing air, ambient air from all over. It's coming through these grids, and it's going through the heater. And then that heater is cre turning your, your air into, vape, into hot air, which then goes through the weed and creates vapor. This is like basically hitting a pipe, you know, a one hitter. You hit it, put it down, it's not cooking no more. Other conduction vaporizers, it's cooking. You hit it, you put it down, it's cooking. You heat it up, it's cooking, cooking without you. Fury, the Fury, uh, the Planet of the Vape one, that those have convection air technology convection air technology and 100 percent on-demand convection is two different animals two different beasts this is not going to create vapor until you start inhaling vaporizers like the fury are using convection air technology where the heater there's a heater in there that's spitting up hot air the hot air is going through your weed and turning into vapor conduction units the walls, the, the chamber where the weed sits, the walls all around heat up, which obviously heats up your herb and then creates vapor. Convection air technology shoots up air. It pushes air up, hot air. The walls do not heat up. They might retain heat and then cause a little bit more conduction, but the walls itself never heat up. That's convection air technology. This does not use convection air technology. It just on-demand percent convection. You press the button, you, you ignite the heater, nothing happens, no vapor is created until you start inhaling. That's it. OG Firefly, box, crazy. Firefly 2, I had the jet black one. I had every single color, a little white, red, I had the gold, the blue. And for that box, the box was different as well. As you can see, it came in all white, Construct like the Matrix, everything's all white. Firefly 2 was more expensive than the Firefly 2 Plus. Firefly 2 Plus, as you can see, smaller, cheap. $250, $330. Big difference. Why? The original Firefly 2 came with an extra battery. So you came with two batteries and it came with three concentrate pads. This only, the Firefly 2 Plus only comes with one battery and one concentrate pad. But there's an upgrade between the two. If you have the original Firefly 2, it's a little harder to get um to inhale. It's like you're inhaling through a straw. Firefly 2 is like, okay. Firefly 2 is like you're inhaling through a coffee straw. You know, them really thin, small ones. And then Firefly 2 Plus is like you're inhaling from a McDonald's straw, them big ass thick ones. So airflow is better in this when you inhale. Airflow is a little bit more restricted in this one, okay? If you have a Firefly 2, you do not have to go buy a Firefly 2 Plus and spend $250. You can go, you can email them and get the upgrade. You can upgrade this where you send it back in and for $33, that's it, $33. They will replace the resistor plate in here. The holes will be actually a little tiny bit better. You, you might not really even notice it because it's like millimeters bigger. Same thing with the mouthpiece. They replaced the mouthpiece with the screen in there. The holes are millimeters bigger and there's a little bit more holes actually than this. This has like two or three rolls. The new one has like four rolls or five rolls, something like that. And the holes are a little bit bigger. So let's get this started. I usually hit mine at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I used to temp step. I used to start at 320, 340, and then step it up to 360, 380. 400, I used to even go to 420 sometimes with this vape, but now I just strictly leave it at 400 degrees, 
I don't go higher, I don't go lower. I just leave it at 400. See the OG Firefly though, that never had a temperature range. Like you couldn't set it. You just, it just, once you press the button, which has a physical button, you had to press in order to engage the heater. These, the Firefly has a capacitive touch buttons, meaning you don't have to squeeze. You just lightly, gently place your fingers over the buttons and it reads the signal basically and it starts to heat up. But this one, like I said, no temp, you couldn't set it. You just went from zero to 400 each time. So it was almost like you were vapor surfing. Let's say if you wanted exactly 360 degrees, you weren't really gonna know that. You would just have to hit it and feel the vapor and just feel it out when the let go of the button. All right, I'm about to hit this shit for you guys. Let's get it. See the difference though? You see when this heats up, that has that emblem on it, right? When the original Firefly 2 heats up, it just has that green little dot. They should have stuck with their little Firefly emblem. See that emblem on top? They should have put that in there. That should have been the thing glowing. Maybe Firefly 3 will have it. I don't know. I just know they went with this design. I know that emblem. A lot of people are like, what the hell is that? It does look like the arm thing. You know, arms. It has that little emblem. But that's not it exactly. The heater underneath the glass is shaped exactly like that emblem. Exactly like that. It's a coil. That's the coil that's underneath the, the glass. Cheers. Three second heat up. <clears throat> Still the fastest on the market. Best vapor results will be if you inhale 10 seconds or longer. I usually try to inhale the whole time until the light turns off. Man. I swear Firefly is still the most tastiest vaporizer in the planet. There's other vaporizers that taste really good. There's no doubt about that. You know, you got Splinter, you got the Milana, you got stuff like that, you know. Those taste good. I'm not saying that they don't taste good. But this one, it's almost like this was the way flour was meant to be vaped, this vaporizer. You taste everything. And when I say everything, you taste every little hint. And still to this day, in my opinion, it's still the vapor is the most coolest vapor out of every vapor I've I tried. This vapor is so cool, it's almost like you're not getting anything half the time. But you are. This vaporizer is, to me, still the best tasting and still the most coolest vapor out of every vaporizer. This is like what, 105th review? So trust me, I've had, I've tried out a lot of vaporizers. And to this day, I still think nothing tastes better than this. I'm gonna hit it one more time, then I'm gonna throw in a concentrate pad. I threw on some concentrates on this pad. Homemade, as always, rosin. <clears throat> hit this one more time for you guys, cheers. Yeah, yeah. I can still get more hits out of that. But I'm jumping straight to the concentrates. My batteries are fine. I know I read on the forums that people say, yeah, my battery only lasts two, three sessions. Mine lasts like four, five, six sessions. And I've had, I, I'm still, I still have battery from, from this, from the original. And I bought this like five years ago and it still runs. It still go, gets three, four, five bowls. No problem. Time to change the temp. For this, I will put, I will set the temp at 500 and then max out the, the calibration bar to 111%. So I got the concentrate pad in there. So I got it set at 500 degrees. With the calibration all the way maxed out to 111%. Gauge it. I didn't even have to wait for the second engagement. First time, as you can see, as you can see. Woo. Phenomenal taste, like I taste everything. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. <coughs> Potency is there. Everything's there. <coughs> Woo. One more time before I go. Hope y'all getting lit with me. Before I hit it again, 
$33. You don't got to spend $250 if you have the Firefly 2 already. Upgraded. $33 upgrade. They will replace the mouthpiece. Replace the resistor plate. And you're good to go. $33. But if you don't have a Firefly 2, then obviously just spend the $250 and get this one. It's a no-brainer. $250. Or if you got this, $33 for the upgrade. Be smart. Cheers. Pissing on Cloud Nine Egos. I want to send a shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Everybody that love me. I love you guys back. I hope you guys are having a great year so far. I want to send my love to everybody that's been subbing, following, that's been liking it. Don't forget to share this if you can. Put it all over. Put all my videos all over Fuck Combustion wherever you want to share it. Email is going to be there. <clears throat> Link going to be in the description. To get one of these bad boys. I just want to say I love you guys. Stay wavy, y'all. Ow!